This was one of the most popular spots for senior motor industry executives last year. As the sales figures rolled in, they'd come down and practice their swallow diving, usually when the tide was out. Everybody knows the car market was down 21%, but some manufacturers did even worse than that. Porsche were down 40%, Jaguar sales were nearly halved. And the problem for these motoring minnows is they can't afford to invest their way out of trouble. They can't afford the billion dollars or so that it takes these days to design and develop an all-new car. So what they have to do instead is practice the art of evolution, evolving existing models rather than revolution, starting again with a clean piece of paper. Every decade has its fashion accessories. And with the passing of the 80s, we can wave goodbye to all sorts of things. We can wave goodbye, for instance, to Ray-Ban sunglasses, to Filofaxes, to electronic personal organizers. We can say goodbye to stripy shirts. And we can even say goodbye to the mobile phone. But we can also say goodbye to the yuppies most prized accoutrement, the Porsche 944. Except this isn't a 944. This is what Porsche is calling the all-new 968. But that's stretching things a little bit, because apart from those 928 style headlamps, you have to admit, it does look just like a 944. At the back, there's another minor styling change and new lowered boot floor, so that you can now get inside a kite and a briefcase. Inside, it's pretty much identical to the old 944, still beautifully made and still completely under-equipped. The most exciting gizmo I've got in here is the heated rear window. Like the 944 before it, the 968 uses a 16-valve, 3-litre engine. But now it has much trickery in the camshaft department. So much, in fact, that it's the most powerful engine of its type in the world. Top speed is 156 miles an hour, and it'll haul itself from 0 to 60 in six and a half seconds. But thanks to the new six-speed gearbox, it will do, get this, more than 30 mpg. More amazing still, Porsche say that in a smoggy city like Los Angeles or Athens, the fumes coming out of the exhaust are actually cleaner than the air going in through the engine. Yes, and I'm a hobgoblin. Now in the days of the old 944, people wanting to get on the Porsche ladder could choose between the soggy S2 or the hard charging turbo. Well, as the 968 has such a welly full of clout, there's no need for a turbo. So the only choice you get is with the suspension. In this one, which is running on ultra-wide tyres and has a sports setup, every bumpy road leads inexorably to the osteopath. The joy of a car like this is that it combines Wagnerian Germanic build quality with more practicality than you might think. Remember, at the end of the day, it is a hatchback. It's also a thrill a minute to drive on these twisting, turning country lanes. It's absolutely sensational. I think if my colleague Tiffany Dell were to thump this round a racetrack, he'd emerge wearing a grin the size of Cheshire. Now, the old 944 Turbo was always regarded as one of the world's best handling cars. And I have a sneaking suspicion that this new 968 is even better. But all the qualities that make it such a superb racer make it a complete pain in the neck for normal drivers like myself. Not only is the ride horrid, but the tyres rumble like distant thunder and indulge in the dangerous practice of following the camber of the road, no matter what the driver does with the wheel. It's absolutely fine for the enthusiast, but for everyone else, it misses the mark by about 76 miles. The standard suspension is far, far better, but as we've come to expect from Porsche, neither is going to be what you'd call a bargain. I have it on very good authority that when this car is launched in May, it's going to cost £40,000. Now, last week, I drove it in a back-to-back -back test with a Nissan 300ZX. I'll admit the Nissan was less well-engineered, but it was faster, it was more striking to look at, 
and it was every bit as well made. It was also £10,000 cheaper. So I'm afraid as far as the 968 is concerned, it's thank you, but no thank you. At £30,000 it would be just fine, but at £40,000 it's starting to play games with the big boys.